Okay, so we are going to try our hands on this example to help us understand the process involved in solving homogeneous differential equations. So I have this example here and I will rewrite it. So we have x, y, and then instead of y prime, I will write it as dy dx, okay, plus 4x squared plus y squared equals 0. So what I'll do next is that I will divide each term by x squared, x squared, x squared, x squared. Okay, so let's do this. This will cancel out this. And then this x will cancel out one of the x here. So you're going to have y over x dy dx. Okay, I'm doing this so that you can write the differential equation in a way that will, will look like the general form that I have here. So we are going to have, let me write this again, dy dx, okay, plus 4, plus y squared over x squared, okay, this is what we have, and this will be equal to 0, okay. So what I'll do next is that I will take some of the terms to the right hand side. So we are going to have y over x, okay, dy dx. Okay, and this will be equal to this will be equal to minus four minus y squared. Let me group this as y over x squared. Okay. Okay. So what I'll do next is that I will take the y over x on the left hand side to the right hand side. Okay, so to do this, I'm going to divide through by y over x okay so when i do that on the left hand side the y over x will be cancelled out and we are going to have dy dx okay to be equal to let me the square bracket minus 4 minus y over x okay squared then we divide by y over x right okay so at this point we can do our substitution where we say that v okay will be equal to y over x and then from there you can see that y will be equal to vx and you're going to differentiate this to get dy dx okay and you're going to apply the product rule here so you're going to keep v and differentiate x so you need to have v dx the derivative of x with respect to x okay and then now I will keep x and differentiate v okay with respect to what x so when we do this you're going to have dy dx to be equal to v because the derivative of x with respect to x will be one so you're going to have v plus x dv dx so you cannot do our substitution so let's come back to this differential equation so instead of dy dx there i will write v plus x dv dx okay and then this will be equal to we have minus 4 let me bring square brackets rather we have minus 4 okay minus y over x squared which will be v squared okay and then brackets close divided by v okay so now let's continue so let's have v plus v plus x dv dx okay and this will be equal to minus 4 over v okay minus minus 4 over v okay minus v squared over v okay it's because i'm dividing through by this v here okay so and then you're going to have v plus x dv dx Okay, to be equal to minus 4 over v minus v. Okay, so let's go what you can do next. I will take this v here to the right hand side. Okay, so you are going to have x dv dx. Okay, to be equal to minus 4 over v minus over v minus 2v. So now let's um, focus on the right hand side. Okay, let's go what you are going to do. 
on the right hand side we have minus 4 over v minus 2v and our common denominator will be v and we are going to have minus 4 minus 2v squared so i'll factor out the minus and we are going to have minus 4 okay minus bracket open 4 plus 2v squared over v and this will be as much minus 4 plus 2v squared over v so now we are going to have x dv dx equals minus 4 plus 2v squared over v okay so at this point i would like to take the dv to the i would like to take the dv to the right hand side okay so that we will be done with the separation of variables then from there we can integrate to get our answer in terms of v and x then we can do the substitution to get it in terms of y and x so to to first we will take the dv to the right hand side i will reverse the whole differential equation which will give us 1 over x dx dv okay then this will be equal to minus v over 4 plus 2 v squared okay so when i do this i can multiply through by dv okay so we can get times dv here then dv here so that this dv will cancel out this so at the end you are going to have 1 over x dx okay to be equal to minus v over 4 plus 2 v squared dv so that will be the differential equation okay so you see that now you've done the separation of variables and all we have to do next is to integrate to get our answer so i'm going to free up space so that we continue with the integration okay so now this is our differential equation now so what i did is that i will multiply through by minus one so that i can get rid of the minus one minus one on the right hand side so when i do this you are going to have minus one over x on the left hand side and this will be equal to v over four plus two v squared dv so now let's integrate so i will integrate the uh, method of the x here so i will integrate the left hand side then let's bring a negative here with respect to x okay so one over x dx and then this will be equal to the integral of v over 4 plus 2 v squared dv okay so now let's look at how you're going to do this integration on the on the left hand side we're going to have minus ln of x and then let's bring the constant of integration you see so now let's focus on the right hand side so on the right hand side on the right hand side let's do this we have the integral of v over 4 plus 2 v dv okay so I'm going to do a u substitution. So I'll say that let u be equal to 4 plus 2v. And therefore, I'm going to get du dv to be equal to a squared. Okay, let's not forget this a squared. So I'm going to get du dv to be equal to 4v. Okay, so from here, our dv will now become du over for v so now let, let's do the substitution back into the integral so i'm going to have the integral of v and then 4 plus 2 v squared is now u so i bring u here and then you're going to have the u over 4 v so this view pass like this and then you're going to have the integral of 1 over 4 u du right so i bring the 1 over 4 here and the integral of 1 over u du and this will give us 1 over 4 then u right but we know u to be 4 plus 2 v squared so then we are going to have the integral to be 1 over 4 ln of what 4 plus 2 v squared so now let's write the the final uh, equation now so we are going to have minus ln of x okay plus c to be equal to 1 over 4 ln of 4 plus 2v squared okay this is what you have now okay so now i would like to write everything in terms of natural log so i will change the constant c to ln c okay because 
if I differentiate uh, c, which is a constant, and then c, which is also a constant, I get the same answer, which is zero. So instead of c, I can write lin c there. So you're going to have minus lin x, okay, plus lin c, and this will be equal to one over four. Lin of four plus two v squared. Okay, so this is what you have now. So at this point, I will apply some log properties. Okay, so the first one will be instead of minus in x, I will write it as in x to the power minus one plus in c, and this will be equal to mean of four plus two v squared to the power one over four. Okay, so from here on the sorry, from here, I'm going to take. Uh, exponent on both sides, so I will exponentiate this and this also. Okay, so on the left hand side, I can write this as e to the power lin of x to the power minus one, okay, times e to the power c, okay, and then this will be equal to e to the power lin of four plus two v squared to the power one over four. So the the exponent will cancel out the natural logs. So you are going to have x to the power minus one multiplying c, and this will be equal to four plus two v squared to the power one over four. So on the left hand side, I will write it as c over x because x to the power minus one gives us one over x. So when we write it, we can get it this way. So we are going to have 4 plus 2 v squared to the power 1 over 4 here. So at this point, I will read, raise each side, each side to the power 4, okay, to the power 4. So that this 4 cancel out this. And then we are going to have c to the power 4 over x to the power 4 here. And then this will be equal to 4 plus 2 v squared. Okay, so at this point, all we will do next is to try and then make V the subject. Okay, so let's look at how we are going to do this. Okay, so we are going to have 4 plus 2V squared. Okay, I have brought this one to the left hand side. Okay, to be equal to C to the power 4 over X to the power 4. Okay. So what I'll do is that I will take away the brackets and then bring the 4 to the right hand side. So we are going to have 2v squared to be equal to c to the power 4 over x to the power 4 minus 4. Okay, so at this point, I will multiply 2 by 1 over 2. Okay, so that I can cancel out the 2 on the left hand side. So we are going to get v squared to be equal to 1 over 2 multiplying c to the power 4 over x to the power 4 minus 4. Okay, but recall that we said v is equal to y over x and we want our answer in terms of y and x since that's what the question gave us. So we have to do a substitution here. So we're going to have y over x squared okay, to be equal to 1 over 2 multiplying c to the power 4 over x to the power 4 minus 4. So you can write this as y squared equals 1 over 2 multiplying x squared, okay, multiplying c to the power 4 over x to the power 4 minus 4. So this becomes our general solution.